place where I felt at home. Take me back to a day when we weren't alone. Take me back. What up, what up, my beautiful people? What's going on today? It's your boy Levi, and we're doing our ride along. It is, uh, can't think what day it is these days. It is, uh, Wednesday, if I'm thinking right. Yeah, it's Wednesday, so, uh, I know I'm telling y'all, I just always tell y'all, so, y'all know a time frame and just how the day's going, what's going on, how much money we can make. But, uh, you know, just had to take care of tons of freaking garbage today, like, Call yesterday's video just a bunch of personal garbage but um it's done as far as i know so uh but there's always something coming up in my life that i gotta take care of that's screwing our day up so i guess that's just part of being an adult i don't know but uh so with that being said we are on our second order today and it's uh five o'clock so really 5 20 so <sighs> yeah i guess we can make a hundred bucks something like that but uh yeah, I'm, if y'all caught yesterday's video, I talked to y'all about the goal. Like, I don't like making goals and not hitting them. And obviously, right now, we're not hitting the $200 a day, which I told y'all is okay. As long as I hit $1,400, i would be okay with that. You know what I mean? But I'm not even hitting that the last two weeks. So, we got to do something. We got to adjust. We got to figure something out. If it's just unreachable, then we need to change the goal, basically. But, so what I'm basically going to do is combine my leg day with a, another day. And so, just basically on Thursdays, I'm going to, it's either Thursday or Tuesday, and I'd rather do Thursday because I feel like Thursdays are better in most markets and definitely mine. So, um, on Thursday, it should definitely be a pretty long day. Um, yeah, Thursday is the only day that we can do that. Um, basically try to make 250 at least and try to make up a little bit I guess if that makes sense so that's what we're gonna do so now on Thursdays we'll work a long day try to make 250 300 and that'll help a little bit but definitely gotta just start getting something going but if y'all caught yesterday's video I said like I said broke out of my comfort zone did a batch order as people call them or in-store pickups whatever you want to call them and uh it actually didn't go too bad you know i ain't done one in like six seven months it really wasn't that bad again i got one with no apartment so that definitely helped but uh we definitely might mix them in like i told y'all to be honest so uh anyways i just wanted to check in with y'all we are back in georgia today like i told y'all yesterday went pretty good in georgia we made like 185 and it was a crazy day we didn't work the longest so i mean it's a pretty decent day so uh we're back down here going good so far so uh we'll just keep trying it out until it goes to a bunch of junk and then go back to my other zone i mean that's a good thing about our jobs like for real i mean it's a little bit harder than that but uh, i got some subscribers that are from florida and i mean i would love to live in florida bro like so you know that is one good thing about our job like i could move to florida and do spark you know so <laughs> uh not saying this is ever gonna happen i wish but who knows right but that's not a good perk of our job but anyways i am done rambling i'm gonna get dropped the shopping order off and uh i'll get back with y'all <clears throat> what up what up my people hey, we got a 17 dollar two mile order don't look like too much uh so i have no idea why i'm sitting there i swear sometimes i see orders i'm just like why are these orders sitting there, bro? And then sometimes, you know how fast they go, you're just like, well, dang, I couldn't even look. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what I was going to tell you, I don't know what, what happened on that shopping trip, you know. Just saying all these people that uh, say they get all these random deactivations, all this on Facebook, blah, blah, blah. And, of course, don't let anybody that does Spark or any Spark gig tuber tell you they don't know this. I'm just saying, though, this is something I could see happening. I mean... Uh, it's not written nowhere it's not no contract but just something that just happened to me let me know if it's ever happened to y'all but i mean i could see you know maybe it happening two or three times and who knows the period a week i wouldn't think a week but a month or six months like you might get deactivated because it looks like you're stealing but i said i've never had it happen before but when i was in there you know i went to do my qr code and of course i got a car check so i was like all right whatever and the girl came over there, she didn't know, she'd never done it before, so I just had to kind of tell her what to do and show her what to do. And I, you can look on their phone while they're doing it, whatever. 
You just gotta scan three items. And I saw and it shows the green check. So she scanned two, and then the last one I saw was red, and she was kind of messing around. She really wasn't talking too much either. And uh, all I know, she's just she scanned all three items, and she's like, "Yeah, you're good to go." She's like, "You're good to go." And just walked away, and I'm like, "Okay." So I looked at my phone, and it says something crazy like the associate marked something uh basically saying like if you have any personal items you can buy them whatever like you know what i mean i should have screenshot it i guess but that's what it was literally saying and then i had to click okay or whatever and said what did you do give the associate the items or did you buy them and i said i gave the item to the associate but see right there i've never had that happen so i guarantee you because that sounds like i was stealing or at least accused or you know looked like i was stealing for sure from sparks perspective so these people on Facebook that's got deactivated, who knows? If that's happened two or three times in, who knows, a lifetime, three months, six months, it looks like you stole two or three times or at least had the potential to steal a spark size, they might deactivate you. So uh, like I said, I've never had that happen. I don't know what she marked on the phone. Uh, like I said, she wasn't very talkative and uh, she just scanned the eyes and she's like, you're good to go and let, walked away. And then I looked at my phone and it said all that junk. I was like, I've never seen this before, and it was literally on a thing of uh, Hot Pockets, so <laughs> I'm like, come on, bro. I'm 35 minutes away from my house. I ain't freaking stealing no Hot Pockets. If I was stealing something, it's going to be like a expensive electronic for sure, I would definitely say. Somebody's looking at me right now. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Hey, you guys, I'm going to leave that in the video because that was hilarious. I was literally sitting at the light. Y'all seen my GoPro and tripod, so I kind of got it up in the air. Like, people can definitely see it. But, um, yeah, just... The dude was just sitting there looking at me, and I looked at him, and I was like, okay, whatever. Like, three or four seconds later, he's still sitting there looking at me. I glanced back over there, and I'm like, okay. And then, like, the third time, I looked back down, whatever. And uh, the third time, he's still looking at me, so I just waved at him. I think it, it might have been on camera. But, uh, yeah, that was hilarious. He's probably just like, what's this guy doing talking on his GoPro? right now i was trying to get a roll the window down so i could just tell him like, i just got a youtube channel whatever but he didn't roll the window down but yeah that was funny but yeah i was just saying on that thing i guarantee you if you get two or three of them pop-ups like that and it looks like you're stealing who knows that could be a thing that nobody even knows about and if it happens two or three times you get deactivated because it looks like you're stealing so uh anyways we're gonna drop this six seventeen dollar order off for two miles off and uh i'll get back with y'all what up you guys i'm just looking for an offer like i told y'all uh, i do love the new tip and transparency on spark you know it just makes it a lot easier to see what's going on with your tips but uh i can't believe it yesterday if you caught yesterday's video we did a like a 2358 uh shopping order for like six miles so uh you know shopping order that's i feel like a lot of times spark tries to put the lower tips on spark, uh shopping orders it just makes sense but anyways um so they left a two dollar tip and i can't believe it they took their two dollar tip back i was just like dang bro hey i hope y'all needed it more than i did because evidently y'all did i'm like dang bro really two dollars and you took it back <laughs> that is crazy i don't know just my experience so far i ain't gonna lie i feel like these people in georgia are tip baiting a lot worse than my other areas so if I keep seeing that, I'm definitely going to be bouncing out of here. But anyway, I'm just waiting on an order. You are fake news. What up, you guys? Hey, we got a $31, 7.7 mile order for the 614 drop or whatever. And, uh, of course, they took longer than I would like them to. So uh, we'll see if we can grab some of the ASAP when we get it done. But uh, that's still pretty good. That puts us at like 90 bucks. So for us to get started so late really can't complain uh i was gonna tell you i'm sure y'all know they used to deliver walmart through doordash but uh they ended the doordash contract and i don't know if y'all know this but they started pushing them through uber eats sometimes and so i've gotten a couple which have been horrible but i actually just got one 21 bucks 21.84 for like eight miles i was like i mean that ain't wonderful but that ain't that bad so kind of surprised that came up on uber eats uh i was gonna say maybe we should try one day for the experience but it's literally gonna be the exact same thing as 
spark so but anyways we're gonna get this wrapped up be at 90 bucks and see what else we can do so i said we're in georgia it's not been too bad so i don't know might keep coming back for a little while until it just seems like it went down to a shit show and then probably go back to my og's home but that is definitely the good thing about gig work man you can literally go anywhere and work basically so super dope oh what up you guys i have no idea the last time i talked to y'all um i was just sitting there waiting on an order or whatever and like all i can tell y'all is i had a 29 dollars five mile order like it was on the market for a while so i guess that obviously meant something i should have known something was wrong with it maybe or something i don't know but basically i literally been sitting over here for like 35 minutes and then they finally checked on me after taking 20 freaking orders which i called you know halfway in between that to make sure i was checked in because i was like they just keep taking other orders out like what the freak and then uh finally they came over there and they like you know who's the name blah 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 and then they're like oh well uh that second order you have it's already been dispensed so you know we can't find it so i had to call spark and get one of them dropped so i have no idea what this is gonna pay now but it should still pay at least i don't know 20 bucks i guess for three miles so i guess not the biggest deal but sitting there literally for 30 minutes like kind of jacked our day up like we were on a pretty good pace but uh, if i can get another order i'll probably take it just to help out um with the week but i don't know man i really think two things spark will change eventually is the 24 hours for a tip i mean that's ridiculous and then just the whole system with the sending the order out and waiting for 25 minutes to check 20 minutes to check in whatever 25 whatever uh i was gonna tell you how they keep fluctuating i don't know it kind of seems like i'm getting offers now back on the 20 like i used to so i don't know what's going on they're experimenting that's all i can tell you and uh but yeah i mean it's just ridiculous i don't know i honestly would prefer if they just did a DoorDash, just send them out or uber Eats. you know like there's no point in having a drop i feel like that's silly so anyways i'm gonna drop this off in like two minutes and if there's a good nine o'clock order i'll get back with y'all what up you guys hey no order sadly nothing on the market so i guess i'm going home i was just gonna tell you i swear like just never judge a book by its cover it's not worth it it's you can never tell because like i googled the addresses it sucks that order went down by the way which is still 19 bucks for like two miles but it was 29 so that tells you that other person tipped 10 freaking dollars and uh so just you know never judge a book by its cover because like i ain't gonna lie the other person that tipped 10 dollars you know they didn't live in the best house nicest house whatever the person i just took their stuff to tipped two freaking dollars and lived in a very very nice house i'm just like i feel like rich people need to kind of like get a taste of reality you know what i mean but they're rich so i mean they don't understand like the struggle and how they're supposed to tip or something i don't know what i'm trying to say but as long as i've been doing this though like a lot of times the people with less money will give more and the people with more money will give less so it's pretty strange but that's how the world works so anyways i appreciate y'all riding with me today hopefully i see y'all pretty early and uh hopefully make at least 250 i mean it's pretty much the plan right now i guess anything can happen but that's definitely the plan so uh, i appreciate y'all so much couldn't do it without y'all and uh until later stay kind stay beautiful peace